Alright, this is Snake Swanel, and I'm going to tell you guys how to set up your leopard gecko's habitat. Uh, first, what you want to do is get a heating pad. I already have mine plugged up. And then from there, you will want to get a bedding. I prefer a reptile carpet, but you can use newspaper or paper towel. Um, I don't prefer any loose substrates because they can lead to death in your leopard gecko. And then what you will want to do is get two hides and a humid hide. You want to hide for your um, heat side and a hide for your cool side. My leopard gecko, he hides back there. And this is his humid hide. But I prefer to get rock hides instead because they provide more space in the habitat. And, um your leopard gecko will feel way more secure but I'm going to get some rock hides after Christmas and then from there you will need a water dish you don't need a big water dish just a nice little one and what you want to do is fill it up with some water and give it about one or two drops of Refty Safe to get the chlorine out and I know they're desert animals, but you want to clean their water dish every day to give them that access to fresh water every day. And then from there, you can go ahead and put in your own decorations, which I have this bush looking thing, and then I have this stick that he likes to clam on. Um, I'm going to get a background after Christmas, and I will do an update on that and back to the heating what you will want to do is keep your heating pad on 24 7 and then get a blue bulb and put it on the other side of your tank and keep it on for about 8 to 10 hours all the daytime hours and then you can just turn that off and the heat pad will um give your leopard gecko that nighttime heat that it would need and your heat bulb only needs to be um about a 50 or 60 watt do not get a basking bulb get a blue daylight bulb because a basking bulb they tend to get hotter than you would expect them to get so get just a blue daylight regular bulb. And then from there, you want a thermometer on the heat side and one on the cool side. And in the day, the off, the overall heat of the tank could be 85 to 90. And in the night, the, um, the heat side should be about 80. And the cool side should be about um, 80. Oh, sorry about that. I mean, the heat side should be about 85 in the night. And the cool side should be about 80 at night. And if you have any questions about your leopard gecko, just comment down below. And also, if you can subscribe for me, I would appreciate it. And this is Snakes1L. See ya.